Hey guys, what's going on? It's Johnny here with Lopez Lawn. Hope everybody's having a good Tuesday. Uh, yesterday we got rained out. We're just getting ready to start. It's about a little after one right now. Uh, things finally dried up. But anyhow, I want to get a video out for the trailer. We got all the racks put in, so we're going to kind of do a, a trailer or I guess 2020 setup now. So let's just start with the truck real quick. Most of you guys already seen this. Uh, so Larry F-250 with the power stroke. Back here, we're gonna, I've had this water tank here for a while, about six, seven years. But I'm gonna use it kind of like as a nurse tank. It's got the drain plug on the bottom and I end up widening out the hole so it drain a little faster. That way we can fill up like our little cans like this that we keep Roundup in and then a backpack sprayer. Uh, over here, we got the old trusty compressor. Uh, man, believe it or not, I paid $45 for this thing. The guy had it on Facebook selling it, was asking for 100 I guess he found it off of the interstate. Someone, it, it fell. You can see where it's kind of damaged right there. But I just threw a number out there. I didn't think he was going to take it, but he said, yeah. So had that for about six years. Works great. Brand new, they're about, I think, 800 in here it's kind of a mess um i gotta get this all situated next couple days but we've got the the steel hair trimmer i was using it the other day but um and we got the extension for the combi and then the articulating head for the combi system too we got some miscellaneous tools over there but this all get cleaned out uh, everything will be organized in here we've got a fire extinguisher on the other end and we're probably going to be putting some of our chemicals, a hedge trimmer, and some other things in here. Keep stores. So I've got it with me all the time. And, of course, everybody knows the trailer. It's a 2021 Pace, 18-foot enclosed with a 2-foot dovetail. We uh, went with a split axle, 5,200 pounds. So that way we can pretty much, you know, I don't have to worry about going overweight. Uh, we did get the logos finally all taken care of. Loving those. Here's the back. I gotta change the license plate. Uh, we did a black one with the green on it. Uh, that green was, that plate was made a long time ago. And so it does not match anything. But uh, they made me a black plate with the green logos on it. So we gotta get that put on there. Let's get this down and we'll see the inside. All right, guys, we'll start with the blowers. Um, the Echo, I'm not gonna go into all the numbers. You guys know what they are. And, but uh, we brought this echo blower last year echo hand blowers you can't beat them i love them i still got the one that my dad gave me it's probably 13 years old and i think it's sitting in the garage for three years and still fire right up love the echo hand blowers um i just went and brought a little rack here from home depot four or five bucks real simple in and out i didn't want to buy the green touch because i didn't want that big box and then of course the version threes uh blower racks we got the 800 and then the 600. We had to redo these a couple times because it was too high up. So we got to bring them down. I didn't want them. I didn't want them too high up there. But uh, anyhow, we got them situated the way we wanted. So we put the lowers here. I wanted them straight up so not to take too much room. So and then here, this will just be quick fix for now until I get the tire rack or tire lock that goes onto this but here's the Honda that we just purchased get this out here again anyhow we have this for a few days now runs good fast plenty of power love this thing think about getting another one I don't know yet we may I don't know. We I like to have two of them. I've got another one, the older model like this, with the blades control on it. But we've had it for about three seasons, and for no more, no more than what we push mow, they last. They last a while. So, and here we got the 36, and we've only got now two hours. And I don't know if you've seen my other one, but we had the mulch kit installed. And here's where I buy them at from my dealer. Great little mower. Still can't do a full review on it because I haven't used it enough. But the way we got it set up, boys, is we're going to... Let me bring you out real quick. 
36 is always going to be in the back because that's going to be the go-to mower. Um, 54, so far I've got it in the center and in the 48 front. Uh, I don't know if we'll keep it this way until I get out there and start mowing and see how things are going to work. Uh, it's going to probably be about a week to figure everything out as far as the placements on these two mowers. Um, so we're going to play with it and, and see how we like it. Uh, I, I want to start using this one more and that one has a backup as far as if I need a third one out. But get this one, get this one out because I don't want this big machine just sitting without being used. So... Um, we're going to try this and see how it works for now. Um, let me get back over here. The trimmer racks. Uh, got the three trimmer rack. Um, on the steel combi, we had to do something a little different. We had to put it in sideways. Uh, we had plenty of clearance between here and there, but you just couldn't get it out. Once you got it in, it was in there. So by doing it this way, having it sideways, easy, we can get in and out. This won't stay here. Um, I'm only going to keep this for now because as the beginning of spring, we acquire new clients and then we have to re-edge their properties. And that's the only time I use that after that. Summertime, use I don't hardly ever use that edger. So we'll be putting the hedge trimmer on this and go from there. Um, I think over here, let me get you to line up right here. You can see the back end. There's all the numbers to them. Here we have the um, line full here. It's screen touch. Brought this last year, the the rack here, but I never did install it. So uh, thank God I kept it in the box. And then we try. We're gonna try this new Samurai line that we brought from Ballard. To see how that cuts. I'm always up for trying new things. See what works and what doesn't. So. But I like the placements here. Still gives me room. Um, we got to put a fire extinguisher there. I'll show you the one up front. But this is the main thing, guys, is this, this clearance here. I can run that 21 up straight up there all the way to the front. But my main thing is having clearance right through here. Gives me, let me walk through here without having to go over anything, any equipment, nothing like that. Uh, these gas cans won't be in here. They'll be in the back of the truck. We don't. I just brought them in because it was raining. And then over there we have one of the tool racks. I may get another one. I don't know. I still got to put I got several more stuff to put on there. But that will get it there for now. And here on this wall, we will be getting another three trimmer rack. Um, the reason we don't have it installed now is because, as you've seen before in my other videos, the open trailer I've got, I've got a three, three rack green touch. And I was planning on just taking it off, repainting it, and putting it in here. But... We still use that trailer for certain things, so I'd rather just leave them on there because I've also got another backpack rack on there. So I'm just going to leave it as is. So I went ahead and ordered another rack. So that should be coming in this week. We'll get that installed. And what we'll have on there is all our Poe head trimmers and one Poe saw. Uh, so two head trimmers and one Poe saw beyond that, which still gives me a lot of real estate to hang more stuff on. Um, here we have the backpack sprayer rack, or chapin. Um, love these things, battery operated. Sits right here perfectly, so it's out of the way. And you can basically kind of, well, I'm pretty tall, so I can basically just back up to it and slide it right on there. Um, right here where these cans are, we still got to get the 30 gallon uh, gas can. It's got the pump on it and all that, so we can fill everything up. And it's right here by the door. So we don't have to worry about the pumps. We just put it in there, fill it up. That will last a while. We still got to get that and a couple more. I'm waiting on some some trays to come in for like oils, uh, sprays, and stuff like that, and hang some tools. I'll tell you another little neat thing we got. We brought this at Lowe's. I think it was like eight dollars. But this little magnetic strip, man, this thing's got some power to it as far as sticking. I mean, these tools ain't coming off. Uh, we're going to get another one. And I've got a bunch of these pruners, hand pruners. And I'm going to line them up probably right here, right below these. Keep some tools here. And then we'll um, we'll have the other ones here. Because we'll have, two, I've got two toolboxes that are in a garage, brand new ones that we've got. They'll go in the toolbox up front on trucks. So, and then down here, we got our new fire extinguisher. Like I said, I've got to get one more. Um, I was just 
think that these things need to be by an access point in case god forbid something ever happens to the trailer inside it's on fire you need to be able to have them to where you can get to them without having to get into the trailer i think they're very important guys carry them everywhere i almost to be honest with you wouldn't mind mounting one of those on the, the big mowers because we have a property that we do that we run continuously for 10 11 hours and you can get grass built up here or something caught on fire and you may you know we may be a good distance from the truck and then there goes your machine so i'm going to look at mountain or maybe right in here somewhere where it's going to be out of the way not not disturbing anything and if i ever need to raise this up i still can but i think i'm gonna mount it somewhere here or right in here to um have have on this one and then probably do the same on the outlaw just to be like i said be on the safe side i don't you never know you may be able to mount it right behind the seat but i'll figure that out um okay on on the front here guys i i know y'all seen see that's i still got silver i got quite a bit of room still but um here up front um i've got the wheel locks um those little red ones you just drive up on and it just locks in place i've got them for these mowers but i haven't installed them yet because i don't know if this is going to be the exact placements for the mowers and i just don't want to be punching a bunch of holes in the floor so and i don't know if i'm even going to need them uh, i'm going to try running the rest of this week without having anything strapped in um, i'm going to see how much it moves if it moves a lot then we're definitely going to have to do it i just got to make sure this is the placement that i want for the mowers uh, but if it doesn't move a lot, I may not do it because then that lets me play around with the mowers and I don't have something setting on the ground where that's where things got to be. I, I don't, I don't like things like that, especially when it comes to the mower because we may have a whole different scenario where if we're going out to the cemetery. We may just be loading up the big mowers, leaving all the standards at home and you got those things tied to the floor. It just, just makes for a pain. So we're, uh. I'd rather not have anything on these floors. Just leave them like this so I can switch it up anytime I want. Now the push mower, I'm gonna put a little rack. That thing's small. I think it it's just the width of the front tire, so it's not gonna take up any room whatsoever. So that'll be fine. Because I don't want that thing moving around. Because that will, as you guys know, on these push mowers. But anyhow, I just wanted to show you guys this is a setup. Minus a few little things we'll be adding and when we do we'll we'll post it on the video um, I want to thank all the guys that subscribed to my channel. I appreciate it. I think we're over 300 and something subscribers now So thank you guys for for watching my videos and like I always say if you like the videos watch them If you want to subscribe, I appreciate it, but it's whatever you guys want to do um, So you guys have any comments questions any ideas on maybe how I could do something different in here or anything like that Shoot me a message. Let me know Put it down in the comments. I'll get back to you on it. Um, I'm always up for ideas. That's why I've been watching. Last night I watched a bunch of 2020 lawn setup videos. They're just there's not a lot on enclosed trailers, and uh, I mean there's some, but they're not a lot. And like I said, we went with one this year. Be simple fact is I'm tired of my stuff being out in the weather. Uh, this stuff costs too much money to let it sit out there. And I know some. It, I mean I don't think it really hurts it that bad. But for me, I like yesterday it rained all day and all my equipment was in here, safe, dry, good to go. And that's what I like about it. So that's why we finally went with the enclosed. Um, it definitely got its drawbacks. Um, you know, I've got to be careful going through certain streets and alleys because of the trees. And I don't want to be scratching it all up. So compared to an open top, you ain't got to worry about none of that stuff. So it does have its drawbacks and it's got its benefits just with like the open tops they've got their drawbacks as far as weather sun faded and stuff like that getting stolen equipment getting taken out of it but but uh i guess everything has its goods and bads but i'm excited for this year uh been wanting one of these trailers for a long time and we was able to finally do it this year so i hope everybody's having a good day um, keep your heads up stay positive out there keep on mowing keep growing them businesses um we've actually been picking up new customers here lately we've got about five more that we just picked up in a few days so i'm looking to pick up maybe five more and that's gonna be it uh all our landscaping jobs we're putting them on hold now because the grass is growing and i'm i years before and tell me guys if you've done this before years before i've always tried to be the to do it all you know just to 
yes, we can do this. We can cut your tree down. We can stump, you know, grind these stumps. We'll do the flower beds. We'll do this landscaping while we're still mowing. And, and I found over the years it to bite me in the butt. So what we try to focus is on the beginning of the year, cleaning up some landscape and stuff like that. But once the grass kicks in, uh, and of course the spraying and fertilization, but once the mowing kicks in, that's what we stay with. Uh, I try to keep with that because if not, you can get behind real quick and, and mowing is really what pays the bills as far as continuous getting checks every month on them. But, uh, so we try to focus on just doing the mowing once this time of year already kicked in. But for us down here in Southwest Oklahoma, the grass came early. Normally we're not really mowing until about close to mid April. And we started mowing two weeks ago as far as mowing green grass. I mean, we scalp in, you know, mid February and in March, but actually to mow green grass, we're not doing that over until about mid April. So we got early start this year. Uh, so we go see how that works out. But, um, We'll be doing another video uh, probably this weekend. I'm gonna get all my equipment lined up, and uh, I've never done that before, so it's going. I'm kind of excited about doing that. And we're gonna lay it all out from the stick equipment to the mowers and push mowers and everything that I've got. Um, we're gonna get those out, so uh, we'll have them out this weekend. I'll get that video out probably Sunday, and uh, go by go through each equipment piece of equipment plus all the uh, spray equipment that we've got and. and uh, the only thing I probably won't have up here is the um, the other two trailers y'all seen in videos before. I'm not going to bring them up here. They're at my other house. Uh, other than that, well, guys, I gotta I gotta get to mowing. The uh, sun's already out, grass is already dry, so we're gonna go hit it until dark. I guess we've got about 20 yards to try to get done today. So, well, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Like I said, if you like the video, if you want to subscribe, that'd be great. Uh, I want to thank all the subscribers. Um, I never thought I'd be over 300. So. Thank you guys for watching the videos. If there's anything that you want to see more of or have questions, hit down there and then I can make a video of it or any of the equipment like the bad boy mowers. Um, if you got questions, I'll try to answer them. Like I said, I'm not going to do a review on the new ones because I haven't really used them that much. And also, we've got a review on Amzol. I don't know how many of you guys use Amzol, but uh, we've been using it now for about a year, four months. I haven't said anything about it because... Usually when I do reviews like that, I like to just use it and then at least a year and see what see how it works. And uh, we got really great results with it. And I'll be making a video slowly just on the Emzol because we will be switching. Well, we have switched everything to Emzol. The only thing we haven't done yet is like the motor oils for the mowers. But we're, we're, we already ordered that, so it's on its way too. But that'll be another video. I hope you guys will be interested in watching that one because uh, we're going to have some good stuff on that one. Anyhow... Time to not get off the subject, but um, I got to get to work. You guys have a good day. We'll talk to you later. Stay safe. Be blessed. And we'll see you later, I guess.